everyone in this uh, episode we're going to be creating a few views that we're going to be displaying to our, our visitors of the website and uh, to do that first we want to create our views folder so press shift f2 this is one of the extensions that we installed in the first episode and let's call this uh, views slash so the slash means it's a folder All right go into the views uh, folder uh, hold Control shift and press a this is basically a shortcut to create a new file and we want to create a razor view start file so go ahead add it let's go ahead and add another folder called shared and in the shared one we want to again control shift a add a, a razor layout so add that so now we have this layout this is what's going to be displayed on all the pages as a template Right, so in the header, real quick, we want to add a meta uh, char set UTF-8. This is basically going to encode the, all the HTML files with UTF-8. And here, just real quickly, we want to set the sc initial scale 1.0. So this is going to uh, allow us to avoid some uh, problems in the future with uh, on, on mobile displays. But yeah, that's... Uh, I think this is it for the layout page. Basically, this is the template, and the render body is where our other pages are going to be rendered. You're going to see this in action in a minute. So, okay, let's go to our views. Again, Shift F2, Home slash, and index.cshtml. Add file, right? So we have our home directory, and we have our index.cshtml file, right? So let's give this a header and let's just say home page. So this is our home page. So if we run this, we're still gonna get hello world since that's what our pipeline is uh, configured to do. So let's comment this out for a second. App.useMVC with default route. All right, there it is. Okay. So and we wanna do we wanna add MVC and services as well. So this is basically gonna tell our program we wanna use an MVC convention. MVC stands for, stands for model view controller, and we're not gonna have models yet, so we just have views, and now we're gonna add controllers. So go ahead, click on the blog, shift F2, controllers slash home oh controller cs all right so this should create a folder called controllers with a file home controllers in it and now we want to take our class and we want to inherit from a class called controller so right now it doesn't know what controller is but hold control and press dot and here you should have an option using this namespace to add this namespace here so this is where this controller is located it's located in this namespace, okay? If you want to inspect the class, you can click F12, and this will uh, take you to its implementation, and uh, you, you can see what, what what's inside. So yeah, basically now, inheritance means that everything that this controller class has, now our class has this as well, right? So now we want to do public I action result index return you the views uh, they chorus they have a nam naming convention with the controllers so the folder corresponds to the controller name and the action corresponds to the actual html file so press control f5 basically instead of running it through a debugger it will uh, execute a command which will basically run It's unresponsive, sorry. Yeah, <clears throat> it's basically, it's gonna uh, look for changes in the code and recompile them automatically. Okay, so here's our page, right? So this is the home page. So if we go to home slash index, it's the same page, right? But if we do go to, I don't know, all, right? It's not gonna find this, right? Because we don't have an all page here. But for now, since we're building a blog, let's add a quick post just to have another example of how the routing works. So 
if you're wondering what I did there, right? So, but for now, let's add a qu uh, another page called post, since this is a blog. So let's copy index, control C, control V, press F2 to rename, and uh, let's call this post. So enter to enter it, and let's say this is a post, right? Control F4 to close it. Uh, Shift arrow keys to select multiple rows, shift delete to delete lines, and let's call this post, right? So the action name corresponds to the post, controller name co corresponds to the uh, folder name, and uh, services and app when it says use MVC with default routes. This is what tells the program, right? You have to look for these names and you have to look for these folders inside views and controllers. And th this, these two basically tell it, right, this is how we work now. Okay, so if we run this, and we go to slash home slash post, there it is, right? Same as the index file. Okay, so let's add a few links. So if we go to our layout, so if we want to write in this line, hold control, enter, div, right? And let's add an A, right? So the way you want to navigate in the ASP.NET core, in the ASP.NET, you don't want to take these routes, right? What's called the razor pages have a, a tag helpers that let us um, simplify this process a lot. So let's go to our views, control shift A, uh, razor view imports right so the imports will allow us to uh, import classes like home controller or other classes that the framework provides into our views and uh, uh, take advantage of them so um, add tag helper all of them so the star stands for all of them microsoft if I can spnetcore.mvc.tag help purse. All right, so this is the name. My okay, so this is the name, and this is that we're grabbing all of it, all right? So now, if we go to this one, we get this ASP helper, all right? So controller, let's say home, and ASP action, let's say index for now. This is going to be our home page. This is going to be our, our post and post. All right. So let's refresh. Boom. All right. And now you can see we can navigate between the two pages. Uh, that will be it for this episode. So if you enjoyed it, like, subscribe for more. Uh, again, if you have any questions, leave, leave them in the comment section. I'll try to answer all of them. But for now, thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.